Wow! Back at this place and for a legendary trick. I've been watching this video of Johnny Giger. Very exotic name. Let's check out what Skate Wikipedia says about this. Well, that's a decent explanation. And the video was okay, but I mean, like he didn't even skate the handrail. I don't know how this guy can call himself pro skater. And I've been going through the comments and I saw somebody try to insult his accent. Some other person was commenting on his stash. And I saw a lot of requests of 360 semi flip. And I found some rare footage of Johnny Geiger that he filmed and it cost him a board. Far so good. We got two tries. Looking good. First one double. Second one the actual trick. The 60 semi flip. This is working out really well. You know, I know we experienced the opposite. So good start off and it gets worse and worse after a few tries. I'll keep going. Let's summarize this front foot, gotta go that way. Back foot, gotta go. Back foot, gonna push it down, elevate it. I'm just gonna try to do some sort of hard flip motion instead of kick flip motion. But that's the actual secret, I guess. My horse just went in the only mud that is left in the park. new trick ruin my grip tape new oh no that's pretty bad sketchy land gotta get this for 60 semi flip Possibly land just before the sun is gonna go down. I mean, it's like three in the afternoon. It's almost gone. Take a look at that. Wow, Swiss mountains. Great. See, the problem on skate tricks is often timing. And I think on the past few tries, my back foot was a little too slow. So I gotta speed up that process and I will end up landing the trick, I believe. I'd say for 67 foot, landing with no speed because it goes up. Last, I gotta say, like my front foot, I just put it a little more in the center of my skateboard, a little more back. And I actually don't know why I did this, but I did it and it worked out. Pardon for my interruption, but we have a land right here. Personally, I would go faster, like I usually go at battle at the barracks. More pop, faster. That's how Johnny Vera does. Luckily, Johnny Geiger went for it again one month after.
it's a split Pokemon deck. We have Mew, Gengar and Lugia on this side. Now they are apart. I'm not quite sure if this has a deeper meaning. Well, I just snapped my deck. I've been skating this for like five weeks for a really long time. And I kind of snapped it on the gap the other day. I expected to break this eventually. So as long as this lasts together, I'm gonna keep going for the trick. That's right, I almost snapped my nose too. It's like a board breaker trick. Let's have a look at the land. Boom! That's perfect. I mean, it would be perfect on a handrail. That was it guys, 360 semi flipped. I'm really satisfied with the one that I land. It was done properly with some speed. Unluckily, I didn't land the second one because my board just exploded. And since I've been skating for Revive, this is like the third board that I snapped. That's pretty good. Back in the days, like the most that I needed was six boards in a month. These boards are really good quality. Enough talking about skateboarding. It is Christmas time. Merry Christmas to each one of you guys. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I couldn't do what I'm doing without you guys. If you wanna give me some further support, you can do this via Patreon and improve and that way you're gonna improve the quality of my videos because I always reinvest the money. Also for my patrons, as soon as I'm gonna find some time in these busy times, I'm gonna send you some signed stickers by me as a gesture to say thanks. All the best wishes for you guys. I hope what you wanted to get for Christmas. Have a great day guys. Namaste.